Printed circuit boards have become an integral part of all kinds of electronic gadgets, which are used either for hobby projects or for industrial purposes. PCBWay is one of the most popular PCB manufacturers for prototyping and low-volume production. And this video will be all about PCB manufacturing process of our company, so that electronic engineer students can easily understand how our PCB is made. After you make a PCB order in our website, Engineers inspect uploaded PCB file. They conduct a DFM review by checking the trace widths, the space between the traces, hole size, etc., and ensure that the design is error-free and fits within manufacturing capabilities. After checking several circuits, they combine them on a large production panel, which is much more efficient to handle through the factory that the production cost also decreases. First, the board is dry cleaned in a machine, and then cut it in small pieces which is suitable for manufacturing. After cutting the boards, they come to the drilling room. Drilling is done for two purposes. For connecting the leaded components and for the wire holes that link the copper layers together. First, the operator takes MDF board as exit material. Then, he loads one or more PCB panels and places it on the machine. And finally, adds a sheet of aluminium as entry foil. Those machines are computed controlled. After selecting the right drill program, the machine starts working. Drill change is fully automatic. The machine selects the drill to use from the drill rack, checks that it is the correct size, and then loads it into the drill head. This is an air-driven drill, which can rotate up to 150,000 revolutions per minute. The high-speed drills make the whole walls cleaner. After that, the corners are trimmed to make it rounded. Then the surface is cleaned. The machines automatically smooth the edges of the board. As the board has drilled for making connection between top and bottom layer, but the middle layer is non-conductive fiberglass. So, to make connection between top and bottom layer, the board comes for electroplating. The operator loads the panels onto the flight bars. The panels themselves act as cathodes for electroplating. The panels are carried through a series of chemical and rinses baths by the overhead crane. This is a multi-stage process and everything is controlled by computer to ensure about one micron thick copper has deposited over the walls of the hole. After that, the board goes through a series of processes, where copper is plated up to a thickness depending on the required final finish for the panel. This process took about 40 minutes of time, and then the board automatically goes to another room for next step. To enter into this room, we put on a special type of anti-static clothes, and we need to pass through a dust cleaning chamber. In 
Then, the panel is first coated with a layer of photosensitive film, the photoresist, which is hot rolled onto the copper. The machine does this automatically, or sometimes this process is done manually. This film is blue light sensitive, so all the lights into the room is yellow. So the light doesn't affect this film. The operator cleans the film, which already has printed the circuit diagram, and loads the first film. Then puts laminated panel and finally the second film. The printer uses powerful UV lamps to harden photosensitive film according to the circuit printed film. So after this process only the circuit is harder and rest and bonded areas remain soft. Modern machines can do this whole process automatically. Next, the board is processed through a chemical solution or developers that remove the unhardened and unwanted resist from areas that were not polymerized by light. After this, you can clearly see only the circuit is printed by blue resist, and this material will resist the chemical at the etching process. Then, the board is sent for etching. This process is to remove the unwanted copper using a powerful alkaline solution. After aging, the boards need to be cleaned and washed away with the excess chemical solution. Then the boards come for automatic optical inspection or AOI. This machine enables fast and accurate inspection of PCBs to ensure that the quality of product leaving the production line is high and the items are built correctly and without manufacturing faults. When detecting the circuits, the machine automatically scans the PCB through the camera, collects images and compares the tested solder joints with the qualified parameters in the database. When everything is ok, then the board comes again to another yellow room for solder mask. This cotton machine simultaneously covers both sides of the panel with the epoxy solder mask in. Solder mask is required to protect the copper surface and prevent solder shorting between components during assembly. After applying solder mask, panels are now erect and put through a converted dryer which hardens the resist just enough for the next stage. Usually, it takes almost 25 minutes to bake. The UV lamps in the machine harden the ink where the film is clear. Later, on the unhardened and unwanted resists are striped off. Most PCBs have a component legend to show which component goes where. We use inkjet printers to image the legends direct from the board digital data. This printer is very advanced. The operator only needs to find the silk screen file corresponding to the board and set positioning on the main control computer. Then the ink will be applied on the boards evenly and automatically. Moreover, it can also be printing and coring on the same system. To protect the copper of solder pad from oxidation, 
Hot air solder leveling is often chosen as surface finish method for circuit boards. In addition to the usual HASL, we also provide a variety of surface treatment methods, such as immersion gold, hard gold and OSP, for customers to choose according to their needs. Finally, the PCB production process is done. Then, we test every multi-layer PCB against the original board data. Using flying probe tester, we test the high voltage insulation and low resistance conduction of the circuit boards and check each net to ensure that the circuit is complete and there is no short or open circuit, which saves time and money because it runs at a high rate. After all testing, the boards come into the milling room. Now it's time to separate all individual PCBs from the large production panel. The operator loads one or more PCBs onto the CNC machine and choose the right program for those boards. According to customer need, the board or array can also be V-scored, so that they can be easily broken apart after assembly. After milling, the boards come for cleaning. This machine cleans dust and oil stains, which is generated during the shape processing and the production process. After wet cleaning, the boards are dried. Then, a team of sharp-eyed inspectors give each PCB a final and careful check over. It looks for any cosmetic defects like scratches and market also checks sickness, holes, etc. After inspection, the PCBs are vacuum sealed and bubble wrapped to keep out dirt and moisture. Then, the packets come to the packing room. After prints out the production releases note, PCBs are securely boxed inside foam wrapper, and at the end of the day, courier comes and took the packages, and deliveries all in the world.